Hello friend humans, Lucas Levy Keppel here, and I am so glad to be uh, here at Sunlight Camp in Colorado near Picosa Springs uh, to have an opportunity to uh, do something a little different than I've done on this channel before. You see, uh, I've done some backpacking videos, I've done some uh, cycling videos, but this is the first five-day backpacking trip I'll be taking. So this uh, is an experiment. See how it goes, use different footage, and be able to bring you some of what we're doing on this this particular trip. This is a pastor's backpacking retreat uh, at Sunlight Camp and Conference Center in Colorado near Pagosa Springs, and it's really quite neat to be here. Uh, drove up last night, took about 12 hours to drive out from Tulsa, and uh, made it here about midnight, so you know we left about noon then, and uh, it's been just an amazing morning getting to see the sunrise, hanging out with some of the other pastors from the presbytery, uh, drinking coffee, and about to have some breakfast here. So come on with me and we'll experience this trip together. Don't All right. Lie. And a little water on here. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, what did you say, Charlie? A little primitive, but we get by. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. 20 seconds of rinsing. Baptize the grand. <laughs> So we've just arrived at the uh, place where we're going to start on this trail. We're not at the trailhead, we've got to hike to it first. But first things first, first order of business, lunch. <laughs> been a long three miles to get up here to the top of this place where we're finally at the trailhead. It took us, I don't know, 2,000 feet of elevation uh, over the course of two and a half, three miles to get up to the trailhead itself. Now I'm here, beautiful views, uh, but it's uh, it was long and difficult. And as you can see, I'm without my pack right now and I'm still a little sore and out of breath. That's even after a little bit of time. However, there was a bonus waiting for us at the top, uh, right where the trail begins, officially. Not just the beautiful views, but, that's right, a restroom right at the top. <laughs> so nice. It's weird what um, you find very um, convenient and good, and being able to sit down makes a big difference. In any case, I've been told we've got about 15 minutes before we're heading back on the trail. It's been a tough one. We've had uh, people that have had to go without their pack, people that have had to stop every few moments, and you know, that speaks to the toughness of this hike. But it's been good, and I'm glad to have been able to share the burden in carrying um, the pack, not the person, but the pack, uh, at least a little bit of the way. <laughs>
we're about to go on the snow for the first time. So we're being very careful here. Sideways. Sideways tilt. Step on previous footprints. You're brilliant. It's part of the trail. Finally, we have some downhill. It's a nice change from the 2,000 feet up that we took this morning to get to the trail. I'll take these ups and downs any day. Also, these views. Oh, what views when you can see through the trees. Too, and we're finding snow and rocks and this is a lot better hike than going off for two miles yesterday morning. section of the hike going up a hill trying not to walk in the same path as anyone else so worth it. Good morning. It is the morning of our third day of hiking. And I'm still in the hammock at the moment, <laughs> hanging out in the trees. It got very cold last night. Colder than I like. But fortunately, the uh, 
quilts were enough to keep me warm and give me enough rest to hopefully get through our hiking today. Today is supposed to be the least strenuous day of hiking, fewer miles, and we're uh, finally heading to our uh, overnight destination, or over day, it doesn't, whatever, um, Archuleta Lake, where we're going to stay for a day so we can leave everything set up. Spruce Lake here, where we've been for the day, has been absolutely beautiful. A nice lake. I jumped in with my uh, dirty clothes from the week and got them washed in the lake, let them dry overnight, hanging on the hammock lines. <laughs> Advantage of the hammock. You take it with you everywhere. But it's about 7 a.m., and it's still very quiet. And uh, we're all starting to get up, move around, and maybe get together for breakfast in a few minutes. I didn't update yesterday. It was um, it was a rough day. We had a very strenuous hike, trying to go uphill across a meadow, bushwhacking. And uh, even before that, there were some very slippery, treacherous passage, uh, passages with uh, snow all around. Um, hard to believe, and the day itself was about 75 or 80 degrees. But the snow is still here, especially on the north face of these mountains. After we get to Archuleta today, tomorrow the plan is to try to hike up to the peak of Mount Hope, which seems like an appropriate way for a pastor's backpacking retreat to go and end. One last look at Spruce Lake before we head out bushwhacking. go this way. I'm already at some of the elevation. I'm sure I did. Some wisdom I've learned on this trip in particular is when offering help to someone, always offer help, but when you do, to so give an example of how you learned that yourself and the mistake that you've made to learn that. <laughs> Stoves are fun. <laughs> we love them. <laughs> Trying to start dinner. <laughs> Mashed potatoes. Yep. It's morning, day four, and we are about to head up to the peak of Mount Hope. And it's 
going to be a great trip. We're slack packing though, which makes it even better. Keeps my shoulders all happy. I'm looking forward to getting up there. A lot, a lot, a lot down there. That's where we started. Where are they, Tim? This is the hill we hiked up. that are closer. That's what was left of his shirt when he rolled off it. Are we responsible <laughs> for carrying that down when we come back? What is? There's a, somebody left a shirt. I can make it. You can just barely make out a radio tower. That's where we were on the first day. He's told me how to hear about it. I'm going to be okay. Let's see if I take my picture. We made it up to the peak and now we're going to head down. This rock scramble is going to be interesting. Pretty sure we're going to make it though. Climbed Mount Hope. We're on the way back down now. <sighs> this section's a little easier than some of the trail. But as you can tell, I'm still breathing hard. It's kind of kind of impressive to make it. My acrophobia kicked in after I'd climbed the first of the three rock scrambles to get to the top. Thanks to good encouragement, made it through and made it back down. So, made it to the peak. I'm looking forward to getting back to camp to rest for the rest of the day. We just ex experienced a little bit of hail. Good job, good job. This little bit quickly. Did you take a nap? Yes. You just disappeared? And I, I was hoping that's what had happened. Yes, it was time. Just in time for bed. Yeah. This is the deer we nicknamed Susie since she came to camp and is not afraid of us.
made it back to the base camp and a little bit of rain sprinkling in now, but it was a wonderful trip and an experience of backpacking several days. I'm sure there'll be lots of unpacking and things to do. Next, we've got dinner and then we're heading out um, to the hot springs to have a nice relaxing soak uh, before we head out from there. And uh, thanks for coming along on this trip with me. I hope you have a wonderful time. Hey, and take care, it. friend humans. Ta-da! On the road. Shortly. Yes. Feeling good.